chlorine. Chlorine is a chemical element with symbol Cl and atomic number 17. The second lightest of the halogens, it appears between fluorine and bromine in the periodic table and its properties are mostly intermediate between them. Chlorine is a yellow-green gas at room temperature. It is an extremely reactive element and a strong oxidizing agent, among the elements, it has the highest electron affinity and the third highest electronegativity, behind only oxygen and fluorine. The most common compound of chlorine, sodium chloride, has been known since ancient times. Around 1630, chlorine gas was first synthesized in a chemical reaction, but not recognized as a fundamentally important substance. Carl Wilhelm Scheele wrote a description of chlorine gas in 1774, supposing it to be an oxide of a new element. In 1809, chemists suggested that the gas might be a pure element, and this was confirmed by Sir Humphrey Davy in 1810, who named it from ancient Greek, chi lambda omega rho, translit. Chloros, lit. Pale green based on its color. Because of its great reactivity, all chlorine in the Earth's crust is in the form of ionic chloride compounds, which includes table salt. It is the second most abundant halogen and 21st most abundant chemical element in Earth's crust. These crustal deposits are nevertheless dwarfed by the huge reserves of chloride in seawater. Elemental chlorine is commercially produced from brine by electrolysis. The high oxidizing potential of elemental chlorine led to the development of commercial bleaches and disinfectants, and a reagent for many processes in the chemical industry. Chlorine is used in the manufacture of a wide range of consumer products, about two-thirds of them organic chemicals such as polyvinyl chloride, and many intermediates for the production of plastics and other end products which do not contain the element. As a common disinfectant, elemental chlorine and chlorine generating compounds are used more directly in swimming pools to keep them clean and sanitary. Elemental chlorine at high concentrations is extremely dangerous and poisonous for all living organisms, and was used in World War I as the first gaseous chemical warfare agent. In the form of chloride ions, chlorine is necessary to all known species of life. Other types of chlorine compounds are rare in living organisms, and artificially produced chlorinated organics range from inert to toxic. In the upper atmosphere, chlorine-containing organic molecules such as chlorofluorocarbons have been implicated in ozone depletion. Small quantities of elemental chlorine are generated by oxidation of chloride to hypochlorite in neutrophils as part of the immune response against bacteria. The most common compound of chlorine, sodium chloride, has been known since ancient times. Archaeologists have found evidence that rock salt was used as early as 3000 BC and brine as early as 6000 BC. Its importance in food was very well known in classical antiquity and was sometimes used as payment for services for Roman generals and military tribunes. Elemental chlorine was probably first isolated around 1200 with the discovery of aqua regia and its ability to dissolve gold, since chlorine gas is one of the products of this reaction. It was however not recognized as a new substance. Around 1630, chlorine was recognized as a gas by the Flemish chemist and physician Jan Baptist van Helmont. The element was first studied in detail in 1774 by Swedish chemist Carl Wilhelm Schiele, and he is credited with the discovery. Schiele produced chlorine by reacting MnO2 with HCl. Schiele observed several of the properties of chlorine the bleaching effect on litmus, the deadly effect on insects, the yellow-green color, and the smell similar to aqua regia. He called it deflogisticated muriatic acid air since it is a gas and it came from hydrochloric acid. He failed to establish chlorine as an element. Common chemical theory at that time held that an acid is a compound that contains oxygen, so a number of chemists, including Claude Bird Hollett, suggested that Sheila's deflogisticated muriatic acid air must be a combination of oxygen and the yet undiscovered element, muriaticum. In 1809, Joseph Louis Gay-Lussac and Louis Jacques Thienard tried to decompose deflogisticated muriatic acid air by reacting it with charcoal to release the free element muriaticum. 
They did not succeed and published a report in which they considered the possibility that deflogisticated muriatic acid air is an element, but were not convinced. In 1810, Sir Humphrey Davy tried the same experiment again, and concluded that the substance was an element, and not a compound. He announced his results to the Royal Society on November 15 that year. At that time, he named this new element chlorine, from the Greek word chi lambda omega rho omicron, meaning green yellow. The name halogen, meaning salt producer, was originally used for chlorine in 1811 by Johann Salomo Christoph Schweiger. This term was later used as a generic term to describe all the elements in the chlorine family, after a suggestion by Johns Jacob Berzelius in 1826. In 1823, Michael Faraday liquefied chlorine for the first time, and demonstrated that what was then known as solid chlorine had a structure of chlorine hydrate. Chlorine gas was first used by French chemist Claude Bird Hollet to bleach textiles in 1785. Modern bleaches resulted from further work by Bird Hollet, who first produced sodium hypochlorite in 1789 in his laboratory in the town of Javel, by passing chlorine gas through a solution of sodium carbonate. The resulting liquid, known as eau de Javel, was a weak solution of sodium hypochlorite. This process was not very efficient, and alternative production methods were sought. Scottish chemist and industrialist Charles Tennant first produced a solution of calcium hypochlorite, then solid calcium hypochlorite. These compounds produced low levels of elemental chlorine and could be more efficiently transported than sodium hypochlorite, which remained as dilute solutions because when purified to eliminate water, it became a dangerously powerful and unstable oxidizer. Near the end of the 19th century, E. S. Smith patented a method of sodium hypochlorite production involving electrolysis of brine to produce sodium hydroxide and chlorine gas, which then mixed to form sodium hypochlorite. This is known as the chloralkali process, first introduced on an industrial scale in 1892, and now the source of most elemental chlorine and sodium hydroxide. In 1884 Chemies Chen Fabrik Griesheim of Germany developed another chloralkali process which entered commercial production in 1888. Elemental chlorine solutions dissolved in chemically basic water were first used as anti-putrefaction agents and disinfectants in the 1820s, in France, long before the establishment of the germ theory of disease. This practice was pioneered by Antoine Germain Labarrac, who adapted Bird Hollet's javel water bleach and other chlorine preparations. Elemental chlorine has since served a continuous function in topical antisepsis and public sanitation, particularly in swimming and drinking water. Chlorine gas was first used as a weapon on April 22, 1915, at Ypres by the German army. The effect on the Allies was devastating because the existing gas masks were difficult to deploy and had not been broadly distributed. Chlorine is the second halogen, being a nonmetal in group 17 of the periodic table. Its properties are thus similar to fluorine, bromine, and iodine, and are largely intermediate between those of the first two. Chlorine has the electron configuration 3s23p5, with the seven electrons in the third and outermost shell acting as its valence electrons. Like all halogens, it is thus one electron short of a full octet and is hence a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with many elements in order to complete its outer shell. Corresponding to periodic trends, it is intermediate in electronegativity between fluorine and bromine, and is less reactive than fluorine and more reactive than bromine. It is also a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine, but a stronger one than bromine. Conversely, the chloride ion is a weaker reducing agent than bromide, but a stronger one than fluoride. It is intermediate in atomic radius between fluorine and bromine, and this leads to many of its atomic properties similarly continuing the trend from iodine to bromine upward, such as first ionization energy, electron affinity, enthalpy of dissociation of the X2 molecule, ionic radius, and XX bond length. All four stable halogens experience intermolecular van der Waals forces of attraction, and their strength increases together with the number of electrons among all homonuclear diatomic halogen molecules. 
Thus, the melting and boiling points of chlorine are intermediate between those of fluorine and bromine, chlorine melts at 101.0 degrees C and boils at 34.0 degrees C. As a result of the increasing molecular weight of the halogens down the group, the density and heats of fusion and vaporization of chlorine are again intermediate between those of bromine and fluorine, although all their heats of vaporization are fairly low thanks to their diatomic molecular structure. The halogens darken in color as the group is descended, thus, while fluorine is a pale yellow gas, chlorine is distinctly yellow-green. This trend occurs because the wavelengths of visible light absorbed by the halogens increase down the group. Specifically, the color of a halogen, such as chlorine, results from the electron transition between the highest occupied antibonding pi g molecular orbital and the lowest vacant antibonding sigma u molecular orbital. The color fades at low temperatures, so that solid chlorine at 195 degrees C is almost colorless. Like solid bromine and iodine, Solid chlorine crystallizes in the orthorhombic crystal system, in a layered lattice of Cl2 molecules. The Cl-Cl distance is 198 pm and the Cl-Cl distance between molecules is 332 pm within a layer and 382 pm between layers. This structure means that chlorine is a very poor conductor of electricity, and indeed its conductivity is so low as to be practically unmeasurable. Chlorine has two stable isotopes, 3,5-Cl and 3,7-Cl. These are its only two natural isotopes occurring in quantity, with 3,5-Cl making up 76% of natural chlorine and 3,7-Cl making up the remaining 24%. Both are synthesized in stars in the oxygen burning and silicon burning processes. Both have nuclear spin 3-2 plus and thus may be used for nuclear magnetic resonance although the spin magnitude being greater than one half results in non-spherical nuclear charge distribution and thus resonance broadening as a result of a non-zero nuclear quadrupole moment and resultant quadrupolar relaxation. The other chlorine isotopes are all radioactive, with half-lives too short to occur in nature primordially. Of these, the most commonly used in the laboratory are 3,6-Cl and 3,8-Cl, which may be produced from the neutron activation of natural chlorine. The most stable chlorine radioisotope is 3,6-Cl. The primary decay mode of isotopes lighter than 3,5-Cl is electron capture to isotopes of sulfur, that of isotopes heavier than 3,7-Cl is beta decay to isotopes of argon, and 3,6-Cl may decay by either mode to stable 30-SIXS or 3,6-AR. 3,6-Cl occurs in trace quantities in nature as a cosmogenic nuclide in a ratio of about times 10-13 to 1 with stable chlorine isotopes it is produced in the atmosphere by spallation of 3,6-AR by interactions with cosmic ray protons. In the top meter of the lithosphere, 3,6-Cl is generated primarily by thermal neutron activation of 3,5-Cl and spallation of 3,9-K and 4,0-Ca. In the subsurface environment, muon capture by 4,0-Ca becomes more important as a way to generate 3,6-Cl. Chlorine is intermediate in reactivity between fluorine and bromine and is one of the most reactive elements. Chlorine is a weaker oxidizing agent than fluorine but a stronger one than bromine or iodine. This can be seen from the standard electrode potentials of the X2-X couples. However, this trend is not shown in the bond energies because fluorine is singular due to its small size, low polaris ability and lack of low-lying d orbitals available for bonding. As another difference, Chlorine has a significant chemistry in positive oxidation states while fluorine does not. Chlorination often leads to higher oxidation states than bromination or iodination but lower oxidation states than fluorination. Chlorine tends to react with compounds including MM, MH, or MC bonds to form MCL bonds. Given that E degree equals plus 1.229 V, which is less than plus 1.395 V, it would be expected that chlorine should be able to oxidize water to oxygen and hydrochloric acid. However, the kinetics of this reaction are unfavorable, and there is also a bubble over potential effect to consider, so that electrolysis of aqueous chloride solutions evolves chlorine gas and not oxygen gas, a fact that is very useful for the industrial production of chlorine. The simplest chlorine compound is hydrogen chloride, HCl, 
a major chemical in industry as well as in the laboratory, both as a gas and dissolved in water as hydrochloric acid. It is often produced by burning hydrogen gas in chlorine gas, or as a byproduct of chlorinating hydrocarbons. Another approach is to treat sodium chloride with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce hydrochloric acid, also known as the salt cake process. In the laboratory, hydrogen chloride gas may be made by drying the acid with concentrated sulfuric acid. Deuterium chloride DCL, may be produced by reacting benzoyl chloride with heavy water. At room temperature, hydrogen chloride is a colorless gas, like all the hydrogen halides apart from hydrogen fluoride, since hydrogen cannot form strong hydrogen bonds to the larger electronegative chlorine atom, however, weak hydrogen bonding is present in solid crystalline hydrogen chloride at low temperatures, similar to the hydrogen fluoride structure, before disorder begins to prevail as the temperature is raised. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid because the hydrogen bonds to chlorine are too weak to inhibit dissociation. The HCl-H2O system has many hydrates HCl and H2O for N equals 1, 2, 3, 4, and 6. Beyond a 1 colon 1 mixture of HCl and H2O, the system separates completely into two separate liquid phases. Hydrochloric acid forms an azeotrope with boiling point 108.58 degrees C at 20.22 GHCl per 100 G solution, thus hydrochloric acid cannot be concentrated beyond this point by distillation. Unlike hydrogen fluoride, anhydrous liquid hydrogen chloride is difficult to work with as a solvent, because its boiling point is low, it has a small liquid range its dielectric constant is low and it does not dissociate appreciably into H2Cl and an HCl2 ions the latter, in any case, are much less stable than the bifluoride ions due to the very weak hydrogen bonding between hydrogen and chlorine, though its salts with very large and weakly polarizing cations such as CS and an NR plus 4 may still be isolated. Anhydrous hydrogen chloride is a poor solvent, only able to dissolve small molecular compounds such as nitrosyl chloride and phenol, or salts with very low lattice energies such as tetralkylaminium halides. It readily protonates electrophiles containing lone pairs or pi bonds. Solvolysis, ligand replacement reactions, and oxidations are well characterized in hydrogen chloride solution. Nearly all elements in the periodic table form binary chlorides. The exceptions are decidedly in the minority and stem in each case from one of three causes, extreme inertness and reluctance to participate in chemical reactions, extreme nuclear instability hampering chemical investigation before decay and transmutation, and having an electronegativity higher than chlorines so that the resultant binary compounds are formally not chlorides but rather oxides or fluorides of chlorine. Chlorination of metals with Cl2 usually leads to a higher oxidation state than bromination with Br2 when multiple oxidation states are available, such as in MOCl5 and MOBr3. Chlorides can be made by reaction of an element or its oxide, hydroxide, or carbonate with hydrochloric acid, and then dehydrated by mildly high temperatures combined with either low pressure or anhydrous hydrogen chloride gas. These methods work best when the chloride product is stable to hydrolysis, otherwise, the possibilities include high temperature oxidative chlorination of the element with chlorine or hydrogen chloride, high temperature chlorination of a metal oxide or other halide by chlorine, a volatile metal chloride, carbon tetrachloride, or an organic chloride. For instance, zirconium dioxide reacts with chlorine at standard conditions to produce zirconium tetrachloride and uranium trioxide reacts with hexachloropropene when heated under reflux to give uranium tetrachloride. The second example also involves a reduction in oxidation state, which can also be achieved by reducing a higher chloride using hydrogen or a metal as a reducing agent. This may also be achieved by thermal decomposition or disproportionation as follows. Most of the chlorides of the pre-transition metals are mostly ionic while nonmetals tend to form covalent molecular chlorides, as do metals in high oxidation states from plus 3 and above. Silver chloride is very insoluble in water and is thus often used as a qualitative test for chlorine. Although dichlorine is a strong oxidizing agent with a high first ionization energy, it may be oxidized under extreme conditions to form the Cl plus 2 cation. 
This is very unstable and has only been characterized by its electronic band spectrum when produced in a low pressure discharge tube. The yellow Cl plus 3 cation is more stable and may be produced as follows. This reaction is conducted in the oxidizing solvent arsenic pentafluoride. The trichloride anion, Cl3, has also been characterized, it is analogous to triiodide. The three fluorides of chlorine form a subset of the interhalogen compounds, all of which are diamagnetic. Some cationic and anionic derivatives are known, such as ClF2, ClF4, ClF2, and Cl2F+. Some pseudohalides of chlorine are also known, such as cyanogen chloride, chlorine cyanate, chlorine thiocyanate, and chlorine azide. Chlorine monofluoride is extremely thermally stable, and is sold commercially in 500 gram steel lecture bottles. It is a colorless gas that melts at 155.6 degrees C and boils at 100.1 degrees C. It may be produced by the direction of its elements at 225 degrees C, though it must then be separated and purified from chlorine trifluoride and its reactants. Its properties are mostly intermediate between those of chlorine and fluorine. It will react with many metals and nonmetals from room temperature and above, fluorinating them and liberating chlorine. It will also act as a chlorofluorinating agent, adding chlorine and fluorine across a multiple bond or by oxidation, for example, it will attack carbon monoxide to form carbonyl chlorofluoride, COFCl. It will react analogously with hexafluorostone, 2CO, with a potassium fluoride catalyst to produce heptafluoroisopropyl hypochlorite, 2CFOCl, with nitriles RCN to produce RCF2 and Cl2, and with the sulfur oxides SO2 and SO3 to produce ClOSO2F and ClSO2F respectively. It will also react exothermically and violently with compounds containing O and NH groups, such as water. Chlorine trifluoride is a volatile colorless molecular liquid which melts at 76.3 degrees C and boils at 11.8 degrees C. It may be formed by directly fluorinating gaseous chlorine or chlorine monofluoride at 200-300 degrees C. It is one of the most reactive known chemical compounds, reacting with many substances which in ordinary circumstances would be considered chemically inert, such as asbestos, concrete, and sand. It explodes on contact with water and most organic substances. The list of elements it sets on fire is diverse, containing hydrogen, potassium, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, bromine, iodine, and powdered molybdenum, tungsten, rhodium, iridium, and iron. An impermeable fluoride layer is formed by sodium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, tin, and silver which may be removed by heating. When heated, even such noble metals as palladium, platinum, and gold are attacked and even the noble gases xenon and radon do not escape fluorination. Nickel containers are usually used due to that metal's great resistance to attack by chlorine trifluoride, stemming from the formation of an unreactive nickel fluoride layer. Its reaction with hydrazine to form hydrogen fluoride, nitrogen, and chlorine gases was used in experimental rocket motors but has problems largely stemming from its extreme hypergolicity resulting in ignition without any measurable delay. Today, it is mostly used in nuclear fuel processing, to oxidize uranium to uranium hexafluoride for its enriching and to separate it from plutonium. It can act as a fluoride ion donor or acceptor, although it does not dissociate appreciably into ClF plus 2 and ClF4 ions. Chlorine pentafluoride is made on a large scale by direct fluorination of chlorine with excess fluorine gas at 350 degrees C and 250 atm, and on a small scale by reacting metal chlorides with fluorine gas at 100-300 degrees C. It melts at 103 degrees C and boils at 13.1 degrees C. It is a very strong fluorinating agent, although it is still not as effective as chlorine trifluoride. Only a few specific stoichiometric reactions have been characterized. Arsenic pentafluoride and antimony pentafluoride form ionic adducts of the form plus and water reacts vigorously as follows. The product, chloryl fluoride, is one of the five known chlorine oxide fluorides. 
These range from the thermally unstable flow to the chemically unreactive perchloryl fluoride, the other three being FClO2, F3ClO, and F3ClO2. All five behave similarly to the chlorine fluorides, both structurally and chemically, and may act as Lewis acids or bases by gaining or losing fluoride ions respectively or as very strong oxidizing and fluorinating agents. The chlorine oxides are well studied in spite of their instability. They are important because they are produced when chlorofluorocarbons undergo photolysis in the upper atmosphere and cause the destruction of the ozone layer. None of them can be made from directly reacting the elements. Dichlorine monoxide is a brownish-yellow gas which may be obtained by reacting chlorine gas with yellow mercury oxide. It is very soluble in water, in which it is in equilibrium with hypochlorous acid, of which it is the anhydride. It is thus an effective bleach and is mostly used to make hypochlorites. It explodes on heating or sparking or in the presence of ammonia gas. Chlorine dioxide was the first chlorine oxide to be discovered in 1811 by Humphrey Davy. It is a yellow paramagnetic gas, as expected from its having an odd number of electrons, it is stable towards dimerization due to the delocalization of the unpaired electron. It explodes above 40 degrees C as a liquid and under pressure as a gas and therefore must be made at low concentrations for wood pulp bleaching and water treatment. It is usually prepared by reducing a chlorate as follows. Its production is thus intimately linked to the redox reactions of the chlorine oxoacids. It is a strong oxidizing agent, reacting with sulfur, phosphorus, phosphorus halides, and potassium borohydride. It dissolves exothermically in water to form dark green solutions that very slowly decompose in the dark. Crystalline clathrate hydrates ClO2NH2O separate out at low temperatures. However, in the presence of light, these solutions rapidly photodecompose to form a mixture of chloric and hydrochloric acids. Photolysis of individual ClO2 molecules result in the radicals ClO and ClOO, while at room temperature mostly chlorine, oxygen, and some ClO3 and Cl2O6 are produced. Cl2O3 is also produced when photolysing the solid at 78 degrees C, it is a dark brown solid that explodes below 0 degrees C. The ClO radical leads to the depletion of atmospheric ozone and is thus environmentally important as follows. Chlorine perchlorate is a pale yellow liquid that is less stable than ClO2 and decomposes at room temperature to form chlorine, oxygen, and dichlorine hexoxide. Chlorine perchlorate may also be considered a chlorine derivative of perchloric acid, similar to the thermally unstable chlorine derivatives of other oxoacids, examples include chlorine nitrate and chlorine fluorosulfate. Dichlorine hexoxide is a dark red liquid that freezes to form a solid which turns yellow at 180 degrees C, it is usually made by reaction of chlorine dioxide with oxygen. Despite attempts to rationalize it as the dimer of ClO3, it reacts more as though it were chloryl perchlorate, plus, which has been confirmed to be the correct structure of the solid. It hydrolyzes in water to give a mixture of chloric and perchloric acids, the analogous reaction with anhydrous hydrogen fluoride does not proceed to completion. Dichlorine heptoxide is the anhydride of perchloric acid and can readily be obtained from it by dehydrating it with phosphoric acid at 10 degrees C and then distilling the product at 35 degrees C and 1 mmHg. It is a shock-sensitive, colorless oily liquid. It is the least reactive of the chlorine oxides, being the only one to not set organic materials on fire at room temperature. It may be dissolved in water to regenerate perchloric acid or in aqueous alkalis to regenerate perchlorates. However, it thermally decomposes explosively by breaking one of the central ClO bonds, producing the radicals ClO3 and ClO4 which immediately decompose to the elements through intermediate oxides. Chlorine forms four oxoacids, hypochlorous acid, chlorous acid, chloric acid, and perchloric acid. As can be seen from the redox potentials given in the adjacent table, chlorine is much more stable towards disproportionation in acidic solutions than in alkaline solutions. The hypochlorite ions also disproportionate further to produce chloride and chlorate but this reaction is quite slow at temperatures below 70 degrees C in spite of the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1027. 
The chloride ions may themselves disproportionate to form chloride and perchlorate but this is still very slow even at 100 degrees C despite the very favorable equilibrium constant of 1020. The rates of reaction for the chlorine oxyanions increases as the oxidation state of chlorine decreases. The strengths of the chlorine oxyacids increase very quickly as the oxidation state of chlorine increases due to the increasing delocalization of charge over more and more oxygen atoms in their conjugate bases. Most of the chlorine oxoacids may be produced by exploiting these disproportionation reactions. Hypochlorous acid is highly reactive and quite unstable, its salts are mostly used for their bleaching and sterilizing abilities. They are very strong oxidizing agents, transferring an oxygen atom to most inorganic species. Chlorous acid is even more unstable and cannot be isolated or concentrated without decomposition, it is known from the decomposition of aqueous chlorine dioxide. However, sodium chloride is a stable salt and is useful for bleaching and stripping textiles, as an oxidizing agent, and as a source of chlorine dioxide. Chloric acid is a strong acid that is quite stable in cold water up to 30% concentration, but on warming gives chlorine and chlorine dioxide. Evaporation under reduced pressure allows it to be concentrated further to about 40%, but then it decomposes to perchloric acid, chlorine, oxygen, water, and chlorine dioxide. Its most important salt is sodium chlorate, mostly used to make chlorine dioxide to bleach paper pulp. The decomposition of chlorate to chloride and oxygen is a common way to produce oxygen in the laboratory on a small scale. Chloride and chlorate may come proportionate to form chlorine as follows. Perchlorates and perchloric acid are the most stable oxo compounds of chlorine, in keeping with the fact that chlorine compounds are most stable when the chlorine atom is in its lowest or highest possible oxidation states. Perchloric acid and aqueous perchlorates are vigorous and sometimes violent oxidizing agents when heated, in stark contrast to their mostly inactive nature at room temperature due to the high activation energies for these reactions for kinetic reasons. Perchlorates are made by electrolytically oxidizing sodium chlorate, and perchloric acid is made by reacting anhydrous sodium perchlorate or barium perchlorate with concentrated hydrochloric acid, filtering away the chloride precipitated and distilling the filtrate to concentrate it. Anhydrous perchloric acid is a colorless mobile liquid that is sensitive to shock that explodes on contact with most organic compounds sets hydrogen iodide and thionyl chloride on fire and even oxidizes silver and gold. Although it is a weak ligand, weaker than water, a few compounds involving coordinated ClO4 are known. Like the other carbon-halogen bonds, the CCl bond is a common functional group that forms part of core organic chemistry. Formally, compounds with this functional group may be considered organic derivatives of the chloride anion. Due to the difference of electronegativity between chlorine and carbon, the carbon in a CCl bond is electron deficient and thus electrophilic. Chlorination modifies the physical properties of hydrocarbons in several ways, chlorocarbons are typically denser than water due to the higher atomic weight of chlorine versus hydrogen, and aliphatic organochlorides are alkylating agents because chloride is a leaving group. Alkanes and aryl alkanes may be chlorinated under free radical conditions, with UV light. However, the extent of chlorination is difficult to control, the reaction is not regioselective and often results in a mixture of various isomers with different